Hey guys, Smug here, bringing you a tutorial on how to set up Hero Chat, a plugin for Bucket. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this plugin downloaded here. You're gonna want to go to the Bucket plugin list and type in Hero Chat in the title search bar, and it should be the only result. Go ahead and click on that, and you're gonna want to download Hero Chat first link here. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, and then uh, the only thing on this page that you probably would need is the how do I use it link the wiki link right here uh, other than that really you can go ahead and just close this uh, we won't be using it for this tutorial um, I also do believe in that wiki page there's uh, permissions if the, is there permissions I don't even think there is permissions for a uh, hero chat I believe it's just all a config file and that's what I'm gonna pretty much be going over with you guys today so uh, anyway go and start up your server once you have that into your plugins folder let me just check and see if I do yep there it is alright so go ahead and start up your server here oops oh, that doesn't matter okay. alrighty once you do that it'll it should be in here somewhere where is it Oh, there it is. Hero chat. There it is. All right. Hmm. Maybe it does link into permissions. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll find that out in a second, won't we? All right. So anyway, let's go ahead and start up Minecraft. Why don't we? Pretty much what Hero Chat is gonna do is it's gonna give you this like prefix at the beginning of your name or before every name, and it's gonna be like. If you're in the global chat, it'll have like the shortcut or the uh, abbreviation for that chat, and for global chat, that is G. So you know, hold on one second. Let me pull it up, and I'll show you. Pretty much, your chat just gives your chat a little bit more color and organization, other than the just default white chat. That's pretty boring. Like I honestly, I, when I see that chat, I just ugh, can't stand that chat anymore. But uh, so anyway, here we go. We'll just type hello, and it will say. Uh, <clears throat> it'll say uh, a G uh, in the little brackets next to your name as a prefix. So now you will be able to have colored names in your permissions. So if you want to put, like, say, uh, admin as dark red, uh, you put the little and sign, and then the uh, put the and sign and four next in the permissions document in the uh, prefix and then now colors will work on your thing so instead of it being white your or your name white it will be dark red if you're an admin and then you can change colors for other groups if you want so for those who are looking for this uh tutorial just to kind of figure that out and uh, understand that the reason you can't get colors with permissions is because you need an external chat plugin like this or another chat plugin uh such as this one um, so anyway, let's go ahead and go to the config file and I'll kind of decode that for you. Uh, when you start up the server, it will create a folder here. Uh, users, pretty much it will give you like the users and you can say what channel they've joined and active channels and stuff like that, you know. And then, uh, let's see, once you do that, you, go, you can go to the uh, config file. And this is where the magic happens. So uh, anyway, let's just go down the line here. Separate chat log. That'll be like if you want a separate chat log for each individual chat, such as global or staff or local, it'll do that. But I just keep that false. I don't really care that much about that. Um, but if hey, if you want organization, if you like that, go for it. <laughs> um, this is pretty much how you uh, configure like all these right here. How you configure like how it uh, broadcasts stuff. Like you don't not you have now joined so and so or blah blah blah. I honestly that's just such a cluster blah, blah, that I just I can't even bother going into that. I have not even touched that on my server. So let's go ahead and just skip that. If you want to try and decode that, go, go ahead be my guest. But that's just weird. Um, so right here we have our default channels they'll give you channels to start out with here um i for the most part kept all these uh channels actually i did keep every single one of these channels but i did add a few and uh so pretty much the easiest way to add a channel is simply just go up to one of these 
previous channels such as say global copy it and then space enter down one and copy it again and then you can just change the name and change all these um, settings and whatnot so here we'll go down the line here color uh, pretty obvious uh, it, when I joined the game earlier you saw that my G in the uh, brackets was green and my text at the in my uh, chat were green so that's pretty much what that does nickname is the uh, the tag or the uh, prefix next to your name and that's also how you'll ac access the uh, channel so like if you type like a uh, slash channel G or slash CH space G it'll take you into the global chat or right here and if you do like slash CH space L it'll take you to the local chat as you can see nickname is L so uh, Permissions, pretty much what this is. If you have permissions, which you probably do if you've watched my uh, previous permissions video, which I'll have a link to, um, then you can say which groups have the permission to speak. And the way you do that is you will take this out. Do not just go like default, comma, don't do that. Don't do that. You got to take out these brackets, space down, and then go up to under speak, and then put default, and then put whatever you want next and whatnot so and then same goes for join join same deal so uh, do not like I said do not do it like this because it will give you errors or you're either that or it just won't work all right and then uh, this one message format I don't bother that I don't bother craft or IRC honestly I don't know what that means and <laughs> if I don't know what it means I'm not gonna get into it and if I haven't used it I don't think it's very important so go ahead and skip that and if you want to use it go for it um, I'm not holding you back against that or anything like that um, let's see worlds I believe that's just like where this chat can be uh, like uh, where you can hear this chat like say if you want to have a world that can't hear the global chat which would be weird but like say maybe you have another chat like specific for one world uh, maybe you could uh, just have it in that one world which would be kind of useful I guess if you think about it um, if you want a password for uh, joining your chat you can just type in a password tell the people you want to know the password and they can join your chat without other people joining it um, bands pretty much groups I'm guessing that uh, I'm pretty sure it's groups because I've tried people and it doesn't work individuals uh, but if you try groups like say you want a group to be banned from this chat you can type in oh, I don't know default if you want default to be banned from it but uh, it, it doesn't matter what I just use default as an example but uh, and then uh, moderators for the chat. I, I'm not sure what a moderator does actually. I have it probably be in the wiki page somewhere. But if you want them to be a moderator, same ordeal. And I'm guessing it's the same ordeal as a uh, the speak and join, where you uh, take out these brackets here. Oh shit! <laughs> you take out the uh, brackets, and then you space down and go under the first letter of that, and then you do the group. Um, and then. Options is where it's uh, a little bit more uh, complex here. Or not complex, but uh, important, I guess. Uh, <laughs> can't put my uh, fan or wrap my finger around that word right there. Um, but uh, hidden is pretty much whew, hidden. I'm guessing that is like other channels cannot see it. Um, so if you're talking, they can't see it. Uh, shortcut is where if you type like I was saying earlier slash ch space l that's the shortcut you could go ahead and type out slash ch local but if you want the shortcut to be allowed go ahead and just type l and uh, it'll let you in if you allow it um, auto join mainly that's only for a chat that you want people to first have when they first join in the server like the global chat for example like when they when a new person joins in that'll be the chat that they're directed to kind of like a default chat um, so I suggest only having one chat that has an auto join local means that only uh, people within a hundred block radius of you can uh, hear you otherwise it'll say if no one's in your uh, range of local then it'll say like no one can hear you and blah 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 
cross world chat pretty much what that that's what global is all about if you want it to be heard in another world that's what that would be um join message if you join the chat it'll give you a message saying so and so join uh the chat and uh i don't really like that it kind of spams the chat a little bit so i suggest kind of leaving that off it doesn't really matter but uh and then the last one forced i'm believing that's just like if you join it'll force you into that one kind of like auto join i'm guessing i'm not sure what the difference is but uh it sounds kind of the same thing so anyway let's go and delete that that's just our uh little example there and uh so anyway guys you can configure that to any way of your liking that's the great thing about these plugins with these big config file is that you can do whatever you want with them so uh anyway guys uh that's about it for uh the plugin um like i said if you want uh, a little bit more help uh on the commands and whatnot and permissions i'm guessing since i guess there is permissions um Go ahead and head over to that uh, page that you downloaded the uh, plugin from and go to the wiki page that uh, I showed you the link to. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, leave a comment. If you uh, if this helped you in any way, like it, favorite, subscribe, but only if it, only if it actually helped you because if it didn't help you, I need to know, all right? So don't just like it for the hell of it, all right? Thank you, guys, and uh, I'll see you later.